Hi, everybody, and welcome to another Def Camp session. My name is Jorge, and I would like to give you an intro to Maple. So as you all know, uh, Meadow comes with an ESP32 coprocessor built-in that enables us to have um, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities. And in this talk, I want to talk to you about a way to controlling Meadow um, using Maple, which is turning your Meadow into a lightweight and a restful web server um, that lets you connect over your Wi-Fi and you can use um, devices and browse in your browser to do HTTP requests to it to control um, your your Meadow device to get or receive data or send data to it to control something. Um, Maple also has an advertised feature. So if your project does not have a display and there is no way for you to see the IP address um, and maybe you don't have a static IP address set up configured in your router, um, the advertised feature, what does is sends you a UDP broadcast message across your network, giving it the, the name of the Maple server that is running along with its IP address. So if you have other devices that have a UDP listener, it will detect this Maple server that is running and you can get its address to start sending requests to it. Another feature that Maple has that supports attribute routing. So it accepts absolute and relative um, URLs to send HTTP requests. So for this demo, um, putting Meadow and running Maple to act as a server will need a client. So for this, we have a Project Lab companion app um, built with Maui. And this companion app is already available in the Project Lab samples repo, if you want to take a look and see how it's written. Um, it also gives you the capabilities to connect to your Project Lab via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And the intention of this app is to show you how to get and set data with its onboard sensors and peripherals. So let's jump in into the demo. Um, let me walk you, I'll do a run through of how the demo looks like, and then we'll go to Visual Studio and show you how this is all wired together using C Sharp and .NET. So I have a live feed here um, with uh, my project lab running Maple right now. It has the IP address shown here on the display. There's an LED indicating that it's ready to receive requests. And here, and there's my companion app running right now. You can see that it already detected my Maple server on my network. And notice that I can now just send over the network HTTP requests to it to um, control uh, the LED and get values from its sensors. So in this case, I can send uh, I can send a request to make the LED blink. I can send another request to make the LED pulse as well. Um, these are post requests that we're sending in, but we can also do get requests here to say, if I want to get the environmental data from my BME 688 sensor that's on board the project lab, I can also get the, the light, the, the light um, uh, values from the light sensor. And finally, we can also read values from the motion sensor as well, giving me acceleration, angular velocity, and temperature that uh, and temperature sensor is already built in into this peripheral. So now let's jump to the Visual Studio to show you how this is all wired up. So I have Visual Studio 2022 running here. I have a solution with three projects and I have a shared project because um, we want to have these models, these model classes available for both the client and the server. So they'll, they'll serialize and deserialize these objects um, under the same convention. So I have a model for my atmospheric sensor. I have one for my light sensor. And finally, I have one for my motion sensor. So if we open up the Meadow um, application here, um, I'm not going to go into detail this sample. I'm just going to give you a highlight um, of the most important things to look out for this project. Um, and so for the Meadow app class, this is the main class of the application. Notice that we are subscribing to the Wi-Fi connected um, event. So because of the 
configuration features that we already have with Meadow Core, this enables the configuration features uh, enables you to connect to your Wi-Fi at startup. So you don't need to manually on C Sharp, just write, activate your uh, your network adapter and try to and connect via code. This will does it will, it will do it automatically. And what we need to do though is pay attention of, to when or have an ha event handler um, to when your board connects to your Wi-Fi, which is what's happening here. So once the Wi-Fi network um, is connected, we are both um, instantiating a Maple server, uh, a Maple object, passing in the IP address that has been given along with its port. Uh, we have a resolver log here to show some output if you're debugging. And finally, you do maple server.start. That's the instruction to put activate maple and start um, getting ready to receive um, HTTP requests from clients. Finally, we have a display view that show a uh, maple ready um, uh, uh, drawing or, or in the UI, it'll display an indicator on the display saying that maple is ready along with its IP address. And finally, turn the LED into a, into green uh, to indicate that this that your device is ready to receive incoming um, HTTP requests. So, the next important thing to highlight here is um, where do you write the endpoints? So you have we have here in the sample we have a Maple request handler that extends from the request handler base. And this is here where we're exposing our API endpoints. You can just simply uh, uh, choose if you want to make a, a post or a get uh, API endpoint. So in this case, I'm doing posts for toggling or blinking or pulsing the LED as an example. And notice if I receive a request, I just call the LED controller and just call the methods that are uh, to start or um, any animation for blinking or pulsing or turning the LED on and off. As for the getting the readings of the sensors, we have um, these get requests. Uh, we have a get light data, a get motion data, and a get environmental data. And notice here we're creating objects for the, those models that I showed you from the shared project. And we established the content type that we're returning and finally, we do a JSON, re we return a JSON result passing in the object. Maple will take care of getting that object, serializing it in JSON and sending it back to the client. Um, so that's the things that you need to pay attention for using Maple. Um, these, all these uh, samples are already available on the Meadow Project Lab samples. Um, they have, we have other very exciting projects here. We have one to connect to Azure. We have one, how to connect to Bluetooth, um, how to use its sensors, how to use its display to drawing things. And if you also want to read more about Maple, you can go to the developer.wildernesslabs.co. We have a detailed Maple documentation showing you everything in detail, how everything is written, how everything works, so you can make the best out of um, putting your Meadow in, into a server so you can connect to it and do all these sorts of things. Um, so that is all I have for you in this session. Um, I hope you have, you have learned something and um, I hope you stay tuned to learn and do other uh, sessions along into this DevCamp. Thank you.